Sunday. Sunday in small town, North Carolina. Weather is beautiful. My husband's out there appearing to be busy, which is what most people do at this house. They don't want me bugging them. Um, today, my family did something that we have not done in how long? Probably seven years. Seven years. Seven long years. Um, at least some of us. We went to church. I went to church, not by myself, not when I got a babysitter, not when I left my husband at home with the other kids, or in particular, one kid, um, our eight and a half year old with autism, who has really not been in church, maybe a couple Christmas Eves, maybe years ago, since he was a baby. So when you have a little person with autism, church is tricky and you can only go to the nursery for so long right because at some point everybody in the nursery is a baby and then you have a long-legged cute boy who is too big for the nursery so we've been kind of making do we've been going to breakfast we you know try to go to sunday school he goes to the nursery he leaves the nursery he wanders around He's insisted on going home, had our nanny keep him on a Sunday, which is not great. Nobody wants to work on a Sunday. I mean, hello, look at Chick-fil-A. And so anyway, it's just been kind of a, a hard pill to swallow, thinking about a normal thing, like which for our family is going to church. Um, and... The only explanation I can give you for it, and I would not believe it if I hadn't seen it for myself, and I feel like I'm the only person that can say this because if it were a psychologist or a researcher or a physician that said this to me, I would want to kick them in the teeth. We got rid of the iPad two weeks ago. And there are moms particularly out there who are thinking, goodbye, adios, Adrian. You have lost your ever-loving frickin' mind because if I don't have that iPad, my child will go bananas. Now, we know all children like an iPad. Yes, my other children have their own little addiction issues, but it's, it's on another level. So what happened two weeks ago today, Easter, we had tried to go to our cousins for lunch. Um, let's see, Amos didn't participate in the Easter parade. He did do the Easter egg hunt. Came home, went to her cousin's, went and sat in her bed with his iPad and got upset and, you know, gave it a <coughs> toss down the stairs, which it was already broken. So it, it was defunct, you know, like shattered, broken. And that was at maybe two in the afternoon. We went home, but we didn't know what to do with ourselves. Like we always have an iPad and we sat in the swing, a very nice friend, um, invited us over, went to her house, we ate pizza, we played dress up, we got through the day. Well, the very next morning, we were flying somewhere. I was like, this is great. I had ordered not only one, but I had ordered two. I ordered one to pick up at the Walmart on my way to the airport because I was so nervous. But that next morning, we were all getting up. Amos loves to fly, like, big time. Elon Musk likes to fly. And... I said, go wake up your brothers and sister. I have never said that to him before, and nor would I have. He went into everybody's room, wake up, Russell, wake up, sissy, wake up, Thomas. And it was like this little nudge to me, like, he's different already. He's different. For, from 14 hours with no iPad, he's different. Yes, Holly, I know. So, Holly, just hear me out on this. He's different. My nanny goes with us to Florida. I will say that was a huge help. I had an extra person to help. We were going on a plane. We had no iPad. We had a couple books, or a lot of books. And we've never flown without an iPad. 
I've never ridden in the car with him without an iPad. So listen, preach. I get it. We do it. We do fine. We get to Florida. Now, when we get to Florida, we have a little bit of a, a hiccup because I have told him that the iPad is going to be flown to Miami at my parents' house. Well, at that point, my nanny and I were like, let's just see if we can do it. We're going to just try. Now, meanwhile, I had just quit smoking like a week before, right, and given up Pepsi. So, at this point, I'm like, you know what? If I can give up cigarettes, he can give up that iPad. And now, now, I'm like, you know what? If he can give up that iPad, then I can continue to give up cigarettes and Pepsi. So, it's like a win-win. Anyway, so we had a really rough couple days. Those first few days, we spent, oh, I don't know, like four or five hours a day in the swing, which is really a long time to push someone in a swing. You know, I can laugh now, but it, it, it real hard. So I would do it for a while, and then Mary would do it. If you went to the beach, he wanted you to push him in the swing. I mean, it's just like being in, it's like being in hell. So anyway, so we got through that, started doing lots of swimming. We had a pool. So we had this nice transition week, which I will say was helpful and helpful and made the week harder, but it was a good week. Our iPad broke a month ago. He's talking so much more, but it's been rough. Yes. So we are, happy birthday, Yvonne. We are... Let's see, I've spent about $300 on new books. I just spent $100 this morning. We are doing lots more Legos and climbing and using our service dog to do things. And we went to church. Like, we went to church. We sat in church. Now, he talked some. A little loudly. But when I came home, I said to my husband, guess what we just did? He said, what? I said, we went to church. He said, how did he do? I said, he did great. I mean, great, you know, great is maybe a, a stretch. I did notice some, some side eyes at us, but we did great. I mean, I, it was so nice to be there. I just felt like a regular, normal person me. I felt regular. Regular. Kim said, is he sleeping better? Yes, he is sleeping way better. Um, most nights he stays in his own bed. Now, last night I let him start in our bed because I knew he would sleep, but he's asleep by nine. Um, trying to get him to bed so he wakes up on his own by seven. He, his teacher yesterday texted me and said he had the best week. He took somebody's hand and went to the carpet. He has never done that before. He has been doing great in the traditional first grade classroom where he has been going for um, reading and I hope a little bit of math to start. And he's been getting his clothes on. He's, he's just like a different person. So here I thought this iPad is the only way we can do anything. It's the only way we can go on a plane. It's the only way we can go out to dinner. It's the only way we can go in a car. Well, yesterday I told Blair, we went and um, we went to the Habitat store and we went to Dollar General. And um, I said to her, you know, I don't think I've ever enjoyed Amos so much on a Saturday because normally if he's either on the iPad, so he's totally doing his own thing, or you're trying to get him off of it, and he's foul. And um, I've just felt like I, I didn't know what else to do. And a friend of mine this morning, she was like, you know, you told me that yesterday, and I didn't let my girls have the iPad this morning. Now, granted, they don't have autism, but she was like, I figured if you could do it, we could do it. But, but this morning when I woke up, I was like, I'm going to look into some research on this. And there was this woman, I emailed and asked her to do a live video of me, with me because there's a ton of research exactly about what I've seen that's well known. And I'm like, you know, maybe if I'd known that, maybe I would have made an effort to do this. Maybe not. But I had no idea that it was a legit 
that it was legitimately going to be better. Um, God is great. Yes, God is great. But sometimes we don't give all credit to God. Sometimes we just say, God, thank you for broken iPads. No offense against God, but technology is a double-edged sword. A happy accident. Yes. Um, so anyway, I just really felt the need to share that. And if there's anybody else that feels like it's not possible, it ain't going to happen, I ain't doing it. Just know that I have been where you are, and now I'm on the other side of it. Yes, and I saw that interview. It was very good. Um, my friend Kate interviewed Temple Grandin. You weren't bothered by that noise? Oh, Santos. I feel like you're always getting bothered by something happening. No, I'm not bothered by that noise, Santos. I live with a person with autism. You think a little, it's going to bug me? No. No. You know, things that bother me are like broken glasses. Uh -huh. Is he asking for his iPad? No. Now, when we came home, he went through another phase of like, the mail took my iPad. Go to the iPad store. So we had another, we had another day, a hard day, but no. And today in church, he did say, do the iPad? I said, mm-hmm. And then he just, you know, kept going on. I think um, for children with autism, particularly, they like to do things repetitively. Um, the research says you will see more talking when they get off of it. And, you know, school is using it, but that's fine. School is very uh, limited. Did you really not know? Well, Trish, I've never done research into iPads on um, the ability of how it interferes with your brain. So if you just happen to know how an iPad decreases serotonin, I'm impressed that you just happen to, poof, know all that information. Because I have a PhD and I didn't know technology played a role in the amount of serotonin your brain released. Call me crazy. Um, but anyway, so no, I really didn't know um, all the research. I mean, I also know, like, drugs are bad for you, but I don't really know what they do to you, you know? So anyway, I learned. I learned that. Um, not to be a smart ass. I'm just a teensy bit, you know. Is it hard when he sees his siblings on their iPads? No, they do not have iPads. Their iPads broke a long time ago. But, you know, they have phones. Um, and I will say we have all been off phones a lot and because we're all trying to keep Amos busy. Um, her employees don't have iPads at all. They're 12 and 14. They're allowed computer laptop time, though they spend most of their time playing with Legos. Yes, he likes a laptop. Yes. I mean, uh, not a laptop. Well, he would like a laptop. He likes Legos a lot. Um, he also really likes the sand pile, which my neighbors have one over there that they are very kind to share with us. So he um, enjoys that. Lord, he doesn't need any cell phone. Golly, be like a terrible. Um, and I've let him watch television. He, in fact, we just came home and he's watching Andy and Andy and Amos. What are you watching? Andy, Annie and Ben. Annie and Ben. So we can, he can watch an episode of Annie and Ben, and then we come back in here, and we do some Legos. We do some climbing. We've got some books. we got the travel book. One of my followers sent him the flag book. We've got, oh, because it's, it's Sunday. I'll show you. This is his favorite book, and I need to get a new one. Um, this is the Lego Bible, in case anybody's wondering. The Lego Bible was, you, I guess you can get it anywhere, but this group spent like three years building every Lego scene to go with the stories of the Bible. I just think that's so cool. Amos, he really liked this book. I guess I'll just go ahead and order another one of those. We have a sensory swing in here, which is popular. We have a service dog who steals socks. Uh-huh, we do. What else do we have? So anyway, 
we're trying to, you know, find new things to do. And um, books, more books, 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 lots of books. When you know better, you do better. Yeah, and I think, you know, we all, like, I'll say this, and this isn't about autism, but this is about, um, so I've lost 20 pounds in like the last, I don't know, two, two months, maybe three months. And I've never seen a Lego flag book. Oh, we've been to Legoland. They've hosted us. <laughs> we've been three times. <laughs> um, and, you know, my whole life I've heard, well, just don't eat as much, right? And, and so I say that because I was sort of sarcastic about the whole, I didn't know about the technology. But I don't mean it in a mean way, but don't eat as much. Well, that makes sense, right? But that's a super hard thing to just do. So for about a month, I did this um, intermittent fasting, you know, trying to drink more water. This uh, woman, Angela Thatcher, is an obesity expert. She is on my subscriber group once a week. Tuesday night is our video this week. And um, we just, I've lost 20 pounds. So I'm eating less. Tuesday night, Wendy, she'll be on with us Tuesday night um, at 7 or 8. I, I need to clarify. But, and I'm taking medicine called Saxenda. And it does make me less hungry. And it's like, you know, sometimes we really need somebody to be very specific with us, you know? Um, or I do. I do. I need help. I need help and I need support. I need people encouraging me and cheering me on. And I want to be that person for folks too, you know. I don't need people. Nobody needs anybody being like, well, me, 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 me. You know, negative Nancy or Sancta Mommy. I mean, seriously. Ugh. I hate people. I'm trying not to. Sunday, Lord, help me not hate people. I'm really trying not to, but I am. This pandemic really made me a... Why are we iPod free? Well, Kim Amos left, lost his iPad or broke it. And then we haven't had it in two weeks. And it is awesome sauce. Legoland just became a certified center for autism. You know, Mary, I saw that, but I don't really understand it. Because... It's always been super autism, autism, autism friendly. They, um, you get a pass so you can go in the back of the line. I think you can do twice for each ride. So it's awesome. I wish I could go afford to go to Angela. Yeah, I think she, I don't know what she charges Sharon. I know your insurance will pay for it. You can submit it to your insurance. Angela charges maybe $200 and then she's doing these weekly free videos. But since you're a subscriber, um, I think you could learn a lot from her videos and then just talk to your regular physician, you know? So I'm taking Saxenda, S-A-X-E-N-D-A. -E but that doesn't mean that when y'all are like, what's the name of that medicine? That doesn't mean that's the medicine for you. She might say, you should take Wagovi or you should take Phenermine or you know what? You don't need medicine or let's do intermittent fasting. That's been the great thing about these weekly videos is that we're really learning a lot about what we need for us and what our own issues are. I was drowning in the weight loss, healthy lifestyle I was seeking out and didn't know where to start, my own worst enemy. Yeah, where you order the Lego book. I'll tell you what, I'll put it in my link tree, um, which is on my Facebook, but I think you could order it on Amazon, just Amazon. Your hair looks darker. It is darker. I haven't colored it in two years. It's a little grayer, but yeah, it's darker. Mm -hmm. I'm spending all that money on, I used to spend on hair color on books. Maybe some clothes, I've been buying some clothes lately. Check out Biomed Groups on Facebook. I don't even know what that is. I'm addicted to crumble cookies. Yesterday, Amos wanted a, um, he wanted a Kit Kat, and I bought the ones, they're 17 cents at Blunt's, which is our little family drugstore, and 
I gave him the, I gave him, it was actually a crackle, but I thought it seems like a Kit Kat and I gave it to him. And he ate it and he goes, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. I need another. And my daughter Blair, who's 12 and a half, started laughing. She was like, Amos, that wasn't a piece. It was the whole thing. And then in church today, our lay reader, Amos, looked down on him and said, ooh, it's an emperor. <laughs> and then the choir, he said, and they're all the kings and presidents. <laughs> he does a lot of stu studying of, like, the Roman Empire. Anyway, it's funny. Funny to me because, you know, I have no life. <laughs> so, anyway, if you... Um, if you, if you feel like the iPad or technology is a problem in your house, I just want to be the person to tell you I was where you are, and two weeks later, I am not there. Does Amos like musical instruments? I wish he probably would. We had a piano, but we left it at our old house because it took up so much freaking space. Um, but I was thinking the other day I should buy a keyboard. I saw what Casio went at the thrift shop, but it was $100. That seemed like a lot. Sort of cheap. Um, but yeah, I bet he would. Anyway, you can do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. I promise. Try picking up a 20 pound of potato. 20 pounds of potato. Oh, it's your loss? Oh, I know. Losing 20 pounds? I know. And where is it? I can't even tell. I mean, look. There's at least another 20 pounds still right there. <laughs> oh, God. There's probably five pounds in my neck. Okay, people. Subscribers, I think I'll we'll tune in with y'all here in a minute. I'll go ahead and do a subscriber chit-chat. little chit-chat. Now is a good time to introduce history books. Oh, he does love a history book. Mm -hmm. May is Mental Health Month. Yes, it is. And we're going to start our mental health series um, this week. Actually, that was what I was supposed to do today. But now I, I forgot. I'm not a member, but I watch all of your videos. Can you acknowledge you get my comments? Hi, Lee. I get your comments. I have Williams Syndrome, and today is Williams Syndrome Awareness Month. Oh, well, Leon, I'm glad you told me that. I'll go look into what it was. We're going to get out on a walk today. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're going to be doing some mental health uh, discussion. This month, we're going to be talking a little bit about drug use. Uh, Adrian taking Zoloft and Wellbutrin, mental health. Sustenance. Mm-hmm. Going to ask to get Will Butrin. Naomi Judd. Um, yes. Yeah. I read that yesterday. Oh, and the subscriber group on Saturday, we're going to be talking about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Because sometimes we just have some gossip sessions. The best gossip session was I saw on TikTok this morning. I'm not really on TikTok, but I love a TikTok video. And the lawyer is asking this fella, tell me about how, how Dr. So-and-so said Johnny hurt his finger. And the lawyer asked the doctor the, how the guy this. And then the guy answers the lawyer and says, well, he said that Amber threw a something at him. And then the lawyer says, I object, Your Honor. That's hearsay. And then the, the judge says to the lawyer, um, you asked the question. And Johnny Depp and his lawyer, like, melt in laughter. I mean, it was awesome sauce. Yes, you can subscribe from an iPad. You have to pay somebody, Apple Pay, 30% of your five bucks a month. But I'd rather have you and get your $3.30 than nothing. And y'all might think, why does she charge money? I don't have money. I know, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? You have to pay money for everything. You have to pay money for flip-flops. You have to pay money for gas. That's like 20 miles in your car. I was about to say, you could just walk. But I know I'll get more, like, messages about how people can't walk. Or you can, like, just not go to McDonald's. And then one time I said that, and the person was like, 
why do you think everybody goes to McDonald's? Maybe because I go to McDonald's? It's not like I think you're terrible. I'm about to go right now and get Amos a 10-piece chicken nugget because there are no Uncrustables in Eastern North Carolina. Not at the food line. No way, Jose. Mm -mm. And ain't nobody better tell me how to make one because I don't want to make one. If I wanted to make an Uncrustable, I would order one of those devices on Amazon. And I ain't ordering one. I like to buy them. I like them frozen. I like to put them in the microwave. And that's all I like. Yes, you can subscribe from Australia, Lee. It's easiest to do from your computer. Go to your computer, hit subscribe. Come on over to the dark side. Okay. Tyson makes the chicken nuggets. I know, but he's not fooled. McDonald's has some sort of like sneaky something they put in their food to make you want to eat it. McDonald's app? I don't even know about this. And my neighbor owns our McDonald's. It's very nice. You keep, I know all these people have offered to send me frozen peanut butter jellies, but it's going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We're adjusting. We've learned that 16 cents a day. See, Stephanie, I can find 16 cents a day, like in my couch. Those subscriptions are giving her that waterfront view. I wish, Gates. Gates, maybe if you join, it would push me to the edge. But not yet. Mm -hmm. The subscriptions pay my taxes. And my subscribers know that I got hacked. My taxes got hacked. So somebody filed the, my taxes for me. And they got $35,000 back. Now, was I supposed to get $35,000 back? Nope. No, no, no way, nosy hosey. I had to send that same amount to the IRS, and then the IRS sent 35000 to some dodo bird sitting on their couch, probably, you know, doing something. I mean, I'll be damned. That person is smart. Whoever can hack people's accounts and get money sent to them electronically from the IRS... I mean, hail to you, Emperor Thief, but someday you're going to get it. I mean, so note to self, this, you, you, this is worth $5 right now. You want to know? Go ahead and get a PIN number so that when you file your taxes, you have to have this six-digit PIN number. Because if I'd had the PIN number, it would not have happened. Can you not get McDonald's delivered? Uh, no. No. We ain't got no Uber Eats. We ain't got no Uber. We ain't got no Domino's Pizza. No Chick-fil-A. We ain't got nothing for nothing. We got the McDonald's and the Subway and the Wendy's and the Taco Hell. And a lot of plants, sure. And we have the Albemarle Sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we got. What's an Uncrustable? You're like my friend Vivian Howard when I told her that I was going to fix some dinosaur chicken for the kids. She was like, what is that? Like really big chicken? I was like, no. It's dino chicken shaped like a dinosaur. And you call yourself a James Beard Award winner? Can you give me the name of your prescription? But Kathy, I, I can't because how do you know my prescription is the right thing for you? You might need weight loss medication, but what you really need is the right doctor or PA to talk to you about what medicine is going to work best for you, right? Somehow they got access to your hard drive, so they had all your financials. No, they didn't have any financials. They had nothing. They gave the IRS my children's ages wrong, the wrong social security numbers, the wrong last names. And you know what the IRS said? It's no problem. Here's 35000 Mm -hmm. Oh, the chicken kitchen closed yesterday. It's an emergency. They were going to cater my... I have a big blog weekend where I have 200 people coming to Eaton. And the chicken kitchen closed. And the chicken kitchen was supposed to cater my Saturday morning breakfast. So now, it's an emergency. I have to be McDonald's, which I like. 
Carry on, people. Carry on. Subscribers. Well, Kathy, you can ask your doctor about Saxenda, Wagovi, intermittent fasting, something. Taco Hill, I call it. Walmart, Hellmark. It's like calling the water park the wet Walmart. No Uber Eats. What if you don't drive? Um, you cook. You eat ravioli. Carry on, people.